No more sadness For I am being cleansed No more animosity Finally the chaos makes sense Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let's get this straight. Um, on a general request, welcome to Tayyib Way. That wasn't the general request. The general request is this. How are we going to survive with uh, out hand sanitizer now that the shops have sold out? And in the new normal, we have to start making things ourselves. So you, as you probably know by now, uh, in Tayyib Way, we are looking for the natural way to do, uh, to make things ourselves, to be productive, to uh, be less consumerist and uh, really to, to stop burdening the earth as much as possible. And, uh, you know, to act as a caliphate, you know, to be deserving of the title of carers, guardians of the earth. So uh, along with that, it's really good to start making things ourselves. It's really important to have san hand sanitizer. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make it, but before we go there, um, of course, there is, uh, you know, a big discussion about how we um, use alcohol in, in Islam. And I thought we'd just touch upon that. And of course, always, always seek your guide within your madhab or the sheikh that you follow and make sure you double check every piece of information that you're given anywhere on the internet, including from me. So I've done my checking and um, I made the decision for this particular video to go for an alcohol based hand sanitizer. Now normally um, I'd be saying look tea tree oil is Allah's natural antiseptic. Okay it's beautiful beautiful stuff mashallah and it kills you know certain germs and it sanitizes to a degree. But what we're talking about right now and I don't know when you're watching this but we're in the midst of uh, Coronaville right now not here in turkey but globally and um, so we need to be really careful about the advice that we're giving and uh, you know to really make sure that your safety comes first so for that the only recommendation that i've seen as viable is to use an alcohol based um sanitizer and that's that's what we're going to be making today um alcohol based this one is ethanol and this i believe is uh, 60 percent ethanol so you want a minimum alcohol um requirement there's a mil mil minimum alcohol requirement right which is going to kill the coronavirus if it touches it all right uh, now um, most of your hand sanitizers that you'll be buying from the shops if you can get any or you were before they have alcohol in this is not drinking alcohol. This is medical alcohol. This is not, don't ever drink this stuff. Not only will you not get drunk, you will burn your throat and you'll end up in A&E. So it is not for that purpose. And as such, that means that there isn't uh, a ban on it in most of the majority of opinions as i said i've checked this you're welcome to check this as well comments are welcome as well remember these are these these are big discussions um so with the with the with the sheikh i spoke to only the shafi madhab has a blanket prohibition on the use of alcohol in anything so i'll say that again only the shafi madhab has a blanket prohibition on the use of alcohol even in things like hand sanitizer the other three so three quarters if you like of the um, accepted norms for our deen for daily life except that alcohol can be used um, for for medical and um, cosmetic purposes okay and this is very important for hand sanitizer so uh, please use a pure ethanol group and um, on bare hands by the way the other concern of course is will it soak in are we taking in uh, anything that's haram well, interestingly, most of the, in fact, I've got to go through my makeup bag. Maybe we'll do that in the future. Should we do my makeup bag? Um, most of the products we use have some kind of pig based product in them. So we can do that another time. And that would, that the, this stuff does soak into your skin. So may Allah forgive us. It's a good thing. Yeah, that just came to my mind. So we'll do that in another one. Okay. But today, um, so this will, what happens with ethanol, uh, alhamdulillah, is it evaporates on the skin. So there's no soaking in, even if it's left there. So there we go. Now I've made the decision um, for your safety and mine. We're going to be making today alcohol based hand sanitizer um, that you can take out with you in a little bottle and you won't need to get them from the shops anymore. Of course, the number one way to clean your hands is still 
to wash them. Should we have a little reminder about the correct way to wash our hands? So Panna, did you ever think that you'd spend so much time watching videos about how to wash your hands, but there is a wasteful way of doing it and a less wasteful way of doing it? Okay, so I want us to just take note about which is uh, the best way of cleaning your hands. So, first of all, you wet your hands. Okay, and then turn the water off. No need for the water for this part. And then you get the soap, right? Natural soap, please. And you say, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Arrahmanirrahim. Maliki Yawmiddin. Iyaka Na'badu wa Iyaka Nasta'in. Ihdina Sirat Al Mustaqim. Sirat Al Adheen Anamt Alayhim. Wairi Al Madubi Alayhim. Walad Zaleen. Ameen. That's the protection, okay? Not happy birthday. Surah Fatiha, inshallah. That is the protection. Quick rinse off and done. And I didn't need to use that much water. Use less. Okay, let's get to it. I've never done one of these videos before. It's really exciting. Um, this is a school and uh, yeah, that's a lovely, our lovely local masjid uh, in the background. Do you like it? I'm here in Istanbul, did I tell you? So anyway, here's what we're doing today. Okay, yes. here's my ingredients. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing three parts, 60 to 70% minimum uh, alcohol product, ethanol. You can get this from your pharmacy, by the way. Go into your local pharmacy, say, have you got anything I can use for hand sanitizers? 60% or more alcohol content, and they will give you something like this. So what we're going to do first is we are going to... We're going to make a, a full bottle of it. We're going to pull it, put it all into a bowl. Um, now, obviously, if you dilute anything down too much, it becomes useless or watery. So we're going to make sure that we keep that to the right proportion of alcohol to kill those nasty little bugs. And uh, after that, we're going to add aloe vera. So this is a nice one, 99% bio bioactive. Um, you can get these again from uh, health food shops, from um, from from a lot of chemists too, uh, but na natural shops, really, uh, they do they do aloe vera. So just ask about that. There we go. This is what aloe vera looks like when it comes out. Now you may have an aloe vera plant at home, which is the good stuff. So just feel free to use that. Now the equation that we're looking for, I'll just rub that in. It smells lush. You want three parts alcohol to one part aloe vera. So I'm going to use this as the measuring as well. I'm just going to pump about a third of the bottle in there. Yep, that looks about a third to me. And then I'm going to drop that in. Yeah. However you choose to measure it, th this may not be the best way, <laughs> the best idea I've ever had for measuring things, to put it in there. Oh, there you go, it did work. Okay. Told you it was the first time I did it. Bear with me, guys. Pray for me. I'm doing this for you. Okay, so there we go. So we've got um, three parts alcohol to one part aloe vera. The aloe vera, what's it for? It's it's because otherwise you'd be just rubbing alcohol into your hands and they become dry and cracked. And we don't want that, yeah? So we're going to whisk that up now. Okay, now that may still be a little bit harsh on your hands, although at this point it will be okay. So I've decided to get some vitamin E, these little ampules that you can get. And just to make it something really nice for my hands, this won't change the amount of alcohol in it, but it will mean that my hands are nice and soft. I've never used an ampule before. Um, add this ampule in, okay? Yep. And then whisk that in. <laughs> All right, finally, uh, the last thing you can do, you should do is to add some really, really nice drops i've chosen orange and this is for the smell and this is because it's going to smell lush oh it's beautiful and you add about eight drops of that and then whisk that in 
get a bottle um, don't go buying loads of new plastic bottles please okay find one in your home this is was actually a car uh, fragrance okay cleaned it out fully gave it a good wash and now we're gonna pour it in dual usage right use reuse recycle okay there we go in it goes this one now. a nice gloopiness to it oh and it smells really nice okay I'm gonna put that on like this and bingo homemade hand sanitizer that you can take to work homemade hand sanitizer alhamdulillah shukrullah that you can take to work um, and uh, remember slowly oh it smells really nice it feels lovely rub it in slowly and uh, remember to say your calls the best protection at this time is always our Dean so uh, if you're going to make night prayers get up in the night break that sleep cry for the ummah Pray for our mass massages to be opened again, inshallah ta'ala. Increase in ibadah. And I leave you with this. The Prophet gave instructions on what to do when there was an outbreak. Abd al-Rahman ibn Auf, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say, if you hear that plague is in the land, do not go there. And if it breaks out in a land when you are there, do not flee from it. So we should be calmed by this. None of us can travel now. I don't know about you, I've had everything cancelled for the rest of the year. This isn't an easy time. Um, I've got, I was, a sh you know, my show, uh, Accidentally Muslim, was due to be at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. But it's hard to see theatres being open at that time. It's hard to make those arrangements. So we're in this place where Allah wants us to be. Don't flee from the plague, the illness. Be with your families, be safe, be sensible. Make that ibadah and what is meant to come to us will come to us. And what was never gonna be was never gonna be. All right, hope that was really useful. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment down below. You may have things that you like to make at home that you'd like to share inshallah ta'ala and Allah has made all things available for us in nature. Assalamu alaikum. See you next time inshallah. Don't forget to label your bottle. Allah bless you. The abasjids are empty. Our hearts have to be full. Subhanallah. Oh, uh.